Welcome back to Mr. Bet on You. This couldn't have worked out any better. I took these screenshots. It's 9.32. Okay, and I was like, I want to talk about this today in the video. Look at the time. Look at the amount. $29 order, Target. Um, I just finished my breakfast run on my zone. My dash ended at 9.30. It ended me. I could not um, dash now. I lost that perk this week. Well, this is the first time I've been affected by it, but I lost it. Anyways. So I hit dash along the way in the next zone, which had a $3 peak downtown. I was like, I'll dash along the way. It's already worked for me once today. I could not dash where I was at. Instead of trying to schedule, instead of waiting, instead of whatever, I hit dash along the way. And like 45 seconds later, $29 order came in, 23 items. The mileage makes sense to me. It takes me to the zone that I was gonna wanna be in anyway. It's gonna take me less than an hour to do this, probably 45 minutes, right before, making $29 right before lunchtime. This will drop me off right in the zone I wanna be right at the beginning of lunchtime. Dash along the way is a game changer. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about it. Hope you guys are ready for this video. Just looked at the items. 12 cases of water. Half the items are water. 12 cases of 24 pack, 24 pack water going to some kind of office. <laughs> I don't care. We're going to get a workout today. 12 cases of water. Oh boy. Let's make this $29. And while we're driving there, almost there, I want to talk about, I've, I've talked about it several times, but new people come here and I want to remind some of my OGs that have been watching this channel. Maybe you don't like doing these. Listen, I need you guys to activate that red card. I need you guys to, I need you guys to try to get priority on these shopping pays. DoorDash is incentivizing consumers to order grocery items and retail items and things like that they're giving them discounts from running promotions um the double dash all these options are giving consumers right now and what that means for somebody like me is i'm getting crazy amount of shopping pays that are pretty good most i would say my acceptance rate on those are is very high because most of them the base pay is crazy so if the consumer leaves any kind of tip it's it's worth it and the mileage is usually good the item counts aren't crazy. I did my first Aldi the other day. It was 43 items. It still only took me like 25 minutes to complete it, right? And it paid me like, I think $30. For those of you that don't like shopping for whatever reason, or maybe you've had a bad experience with it because items were out of it and this and that. Maybe you did Instacart, where if, if you're missing items, you get paid less. That's not the case with DoorDash. You get paid the same amount. I need you guys to use that red card, activate it. Try it, man. I think a lot of you are missing out on opportunities. I think. One of the three reasons, and I'll put this in a video that'll probably come out this weekend, that I had a good week this week, and that I'm staying busy, is because of the shopping pays that I've gotten. We have arrived. There's that Bullseye logo. Done, eight minutes. Oh, and just a reminder, return your card. All right, we're slotted to get there at 1014. So basically we're looking at, I don't know, 40 minutes from start, from acceptance to drop off. There's the arch. And we just made $29 and some change, doing a little shopping, drop off. And then we got into the zone we wanted to go anyway, using Dash along the way. Would you guys have done that? A dash along the way is going to be very market dependent as far as like, you know, how, how many zones and how close and I get it. I completely get it. But if you're sitting there and you can't dash where you're at and there's a peak pay or you want to be to, into the next zone and you're able to dash now and it sends you an order, why not try it? Would you rather sit in your car and wait or would you rather actually work and make $29 and some change in 40 minutes? All right, Shelly, a little cart. Let me see if I can get her. Whoop. Car girl. All right, teacher. Let's uh, hey, let's let's do this live with you guys here. Complete delivery. Hold on. We got a base pay. Eleven twenty-five. Three dollar peak. Fifteen dollar tip. Forty-two minutes. Eleven miles don't matter because I was coming here anyway. Easy money. Some of y'all gonna really say hate what I'm about to say. We've accepted every order that's hit our phone today. We've done some Panera runs. I'm at sixty-one dollars. I've been out for a little less than two hours. We started at 8.20, I believe. It's 10.17. I think the first one, let's see, I've been to Panera twice. Um, both stacks, yeah. 
And then we also did, well, we did that order, but the, what was the first one? Hold on, I gotta jog my memory here. Chick-fil-A. I had a Chick-fil-A come in. I used Dash along the way, like I said, uh, in a Collinsville zone, which is like three zones away. It was a $2 peak, right? Or two, two zones away. It's a zone next to downtown. And I was in Webster Groves when I started. It was nine bucks for eight miles. I took it because it took me to a good spot. And then I got the Panera and I got another Panera. And then we've done this one, 61 bucks. Under two hours of work, zero downtime. Except that everything has hit my phone. My acceptance rate right now is 75%. It was 74 when I started. Now we're in a time of day where I, I'm not gonna be surprised if this doesn't go off for 10 or 15 minutes. I wouldn't be surprised if something hits, but we might have a little bit of downtime, downtime now, but that's okay. All right, just <laughs> got this right here on Uber Eats. I turned Uber Eats on because I thought there might be a little bit of downtime. $11.40, two miles all day long. And a lot of you guys have been asking questions about like my active time, my dash time. I've been putting up my screenshots of my earnings, my community posts. Basically, obviously, I haven't had a lot of downtime. I've had some, but not a lot. Um, but with DoorDash, because my dash time, I think, is at 35 and my active time is at 27 for the week. 35 hours is how long I've been out in total. But I've used Uber. I've made money on Uber. And then obviously, we have had downtime sprinkled in here and there, right? But I'm not sitting in my car waiting, you know, like I have Uber, like I just showed you guys here. And I turn that on and make money. When DoorDash is slow, not sending me anything or sending me trash. Then I just, then I filter in the gaps with some Uber runs like that. Right now, my average order on Uber is like $14. Um, a lot of like nine, 10, 11, $12 runs, but I've, I've sprinkled in a few over $20 runs. So, I mean, the average there is better than DoorDash by a little bit, by a few dollars, by about three bucks. Because right now on DoorDash, I'm averaging about $11 an order, which for me is really good. Let me tell y'all something. Uber GPS is trash. It says I'm here, right? Do you guys see that? Do you see it? Do you see it? It's four blocks up there. Okay, so I'm here. Pickles Deli. Look at this. It says I'm half a mile away. GPS, you gotta fix your stuff, man. This happens a lot, actually. I mean, absolutely. Absolutely garbage. Man, we're really working for this $11. Uh, anyways, I get to the place. There's... The delivery instructor, this guy's blowing my phone up. You got He's like texting me. Yeah, question is, there's like a, a long note about the delivery instructions. Like some people just do too much. Like they just do too much. Like they just do too much. This $11 is like, I'd rather just do the, the 12 cases of water than than this. So basically to get in this guy's building, I gotta like show an ID, I gotta sign on an iPad, I gotta go up to 16th floor, I gotta go down a floor to get to hit a bridge, I gotta a hop, skip, jump, hop on one leg, scream um, bloody murder, and then he'll hear me, and then he's gonna basically fly down to me, and then I'm gonna hand it to him, and then he wants me to sing him happy birthday. All right, we just dropped that off. Cool guy though. I've actually delivered to him before. Um, he can't come down for a reason. So we accepted this 826. I, oh, pardon me. I unpaused the dash when I was about three minutes away from this drop off. That's what I do. And then we got an 826 Papa John's. I think it was three miles, whatever. I'm not overthinking it. If the miles of money's good, if the merchant's good, if the stackability is good, like they might stack this, I'm taking it all day. It's keeping me busy. I'm not sitting in my car waiting for the perfect order. And it's, it's how you make money in 2023. All right, so we dropped off that $8 order at a school and then we accepted a $5.6. I forgot we were on a $3 peak pay. So I, this just happened, just delivered to my first miserable clown of the day. Actually, surprisingly though, we haven't delivered to too many people that haven't tipped this week. We haven't, there's been a few, maybe five. So not as many as I thought, most of them were on stacks. That one just, they, they caught me slacking. Um, it wasn't a lot of effort for it, but, and she's like, yeah, thanks, have a great day. Read between the lines, Mary Ellen, you suck. But then we got this one, as I was waiting for her to come down, I had to wait. It's always people that don't tip, that make you wait, give you bad instructions, always. Always, always, always. Because they're not considerate human beings, so. It is what it is. But we got this 925, two miles. Um, that's the hidden tip indicator. It's a small order, so I think it's gonna stay. It will stay at 925. Very, very certain of that. But it's uh, nine bucks for like a couple miles. 
Easy money. Let's go. And after this order, we'll be at, we've already been at 85. So we'll be at $94 in right at three hours. You know, it's kind of funny. I was at this Taco Bell plenty of times late last night. It's like the only Taco Bell open in the area I was in. And they were super slow, like slow. Like they were busy, but slow getting the food out. Like we are all parked here waiting for them to bring it out anyways. So yeah, I don't think, is the lobby open? I think it is. I'm going to go inside real quick. Hopefully the lobby's open. But yeah, yesterday I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share a little story with y'all. I didn't, didn't film it, but I actually picked up a stack on Uber and a stack on DoorDash at the same time last night. Four runs. And they were all going to the same. God bless America. These stores suck. They were all going like to the same area. So it actually worked out. It was like 37 bucks. I made it in like 45 minutes last night. So when I did that last night. That was a really good thing. Because last night, to start off, my late night shift wasn't great. That kind of, that 37 and 45 was pretty good for minimal miles. I think it was maybe three miles combined. It was absolutely amazing. A lot of stores last night were closed and this and that. I'm probably going to talk. In the recap of my week video, I'm going to probably drop on either tomorrow or Saturday, I'll talk about some of that stuff, but a little bit of a line here, three cars in front of me, it is what it is, it's nine bucks, two miles, we're on a good pace, so the cars are moving in front of me, not not the end of the world, I don't mind doing these fast food runs, I know a lot of you guys won't, you'll just take the, the big orders from the, the great places, I don't mind doing these runs, nine bucks for a couple miles, I don't mind it, because you're talking 15 to 20 minutes of work, if I do three, three and a half of those an hour, I'm on my pace. Love it when I'm wrong, remember I said it wasn't gonna go up, big tip, 13, 20, went up $4. Pull it out, 1325. 1325. Yes, sir. Went one block away. Next one that came in, screenshot. Oh, bless. I hate this phone. Okay. 825, 1.4 miles. 825, 1.4 miles all day long. Once again, we've accepted every order that hits our hit our phone because everything has been good miles to money or it made sense for me. Now the five dollar no tip one was a I, I wouldn't have taken it if I would have remembered, but it still was it's still so okay. Like it's not, it wasn't horrible because it was no, really no additional mileage and no additional time really. So listen, I'm not out here saying I'm accepting every order at challenge. I'm just showing you that I've accepted everything that's hit my phone. And this is the money I made. I'm at $106, I think after I do this drop off. Yeah, 94 plus the four hidden tip, 106. It's 11.30, we turn the app on at 8.20. Everybody's going to do what they want. Everybody's going to listen to who they want to listen to. Everybody will have a different experience. Everybody's market's different. Some people will not want to do shopping pays. We talked about that in the beginning of the video. That's the thumbnail. That's the, the description. All I will say is I will challenge all of you drivers out there. If you're not making money with DoorDash and you're not happy, please try something different. My numbers are not lying. They don't lie. Would you want to work three hours and 15 minutes and be at $106? between breakfast and halfway through lunch. I think most of you would be probably pretty happy with that and be profitable because we're not driving crazy miles. All right, new peak pay, $3 peak pay is done and we got a dollar peak pay from 11.30 to 12.30 in this particular zone. Got a few, a little bit of a wait here to pick up these sandwiches. The subway order is killing me. There's a line. They haven't even started the sandwiches yet because they, they take care of the people in line before they take care of the DoorDash. All right, that took 10 minutes longer than it should have. We're sitting in the same spot where we just dropped it off, 825. It's a good order, but it took longer than it should have. Uber going off. That's trash. Uh, 832, Papa John's DoorDash. Remember, we're on a dollar peak. Uh, this is going to the Laclede one. Let's zoom in on the drop off. You guys know you could zoom in on these drop offs, right? Let me show you guys something real quick. We got 20 seconds. Stop it. You could zoom in at the house icon. It tells you exactly where it's going, right? So it's going to what looks like to be the hospital. This is a 50 50, but I'm taking it. I like the cash flow. The re main reason I took it is it leaves me in a desirable spot to get another order, okay? Because there's a lot around there. And I think they're gonna add an order to this as well, so it's gonna make it even more for very limited mileage. Let's go pick it up. Well, it's not looking like they're gonna stack it. I think they would have stacked it by now. We're right down the street. They still could, but if they were super busy or whatever, probably would have got another one by now. A lot of times with Papa John's, you accept one that's kind of decent, and then boom, they, they add another one like immediately. So it is what it is. I don't mind it. I like the cash flow. I like where it leaves me. 
Hey, what up? Thank you. Now, you know what's funny? This order's paying pretty much the same as that last Subway, right? Actually, a little bit more. I think 20 or 30 cents more. Uh, more mileage, but it's going to take me half the amount of time from beginning to end because there's no waiting at Papa John's and there was a wait at that Subway. So overall for me, if you're not considering miles to money, if I'm, I'm in the middle of lunch still, I, I like this order better because it I got it done quicker and it gets me to my next order faster. All right, y'all, I got, this thing's keeping me busy. It's, it's 1225. We just did an $8 run. I didn't even screen or show that. Um, and then I got a 725, remember we're on a dollar peak, 0.8 miles after it, I took it. It said red door. Uh, check out my community post later this, uh, tonight that I'm gonna put up with today's totals. I've been doing that for every day. So day four will be coming up tonight. Check out the previous community post if you like for that information. And um, I, I don't know. I, I'm gonna make a lot of people mad and upset and they're gonna say this and say that. Listen, what I tell y'all, 2023, level up, adapt, strategy, make money. I'm doing that. I'm showing for almost 41,000 people what can be done. It is St. Louis, okay? So every market's gonna be different, but if you don't think DoorDash has changed, I can't help you. You're a dinosaur. Like your 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 thinking is old, and this happens in history. It's it's changed. See you tomorrow. Nighttime, late night mode. Pedro, DoorDash, Santiago, Mr. Bet on you, sitting in a jack in a box. 2.11 a.m. 2.11 a.m. I don't know if you can see that. 2.11, look. We're at 2.85 for the day. 2.11, 2.12 right now. Out here getting it. If you like this video or others, check out this one here. Consider hitting subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments.